Well, it's the countdown until tomorrow. The hours are ticking away. The minutes are ticking away. We can feel it. I hope you can. It's Friday morning. Tomorrow now, South Africa's eyes are going to be glued to that screen as uh, the Boca go out there. They take on the All Blacks and hopefully break some records and become the nation that wins another World Cup back to back and for the fourth time. It's going to be a tough one. It's going to be a very, very tough one. Let's go to Simon Burke. He is in Paris and he's going to be, he's been covering it the entire time. We left as a team to go down there. We watched the semi-final together, but he has stayed on and uh, the team of SABC News covering this for us there. Simon, wow, I can't believe we're here. Um, a week ago, I was standing there with you. It's already a week gone now and it's the eve of the World Cup final. How's it going there? Talk to us about the, the feeling amongst the supporters and how many South Africans are actually there to support the team. Well, it's the eve of the World Cup <laughs> final and barely a Springbok supporter is stirring right now. It's very early here in Paris, very cold, everybody's tucked up. Uh, we are expecting another influx of buses in, uh, supporters arriving now and this afternoon. So there is going to be a, a, a force of, in the stadium of supporters. We're going to see the green and gold right now, not so prevalent. I did see a few green and gold supporters earlier. However, they were on their way to Normandy to look at uh, the, the events there. Um, it was a day trip, so they couldn't talk to us. But that's the kind of thing that Springbok supporters have been getting up to, uh, spending their time wisely, taking in the culture, the history, learning about the region, learning about the significance of everything. And obviously, the Stade de France, very significant for Springbok history. And we'll be looking to add another page on Saturday against our old foe, the All Blacks. Indeed, we are. And of course, you were at the, uh, the announcement yesterday where the uh, team selection was put down and uh, there was a conversation with the captain, Sio Khaleesi, and of course, uh, the coach. Talk to us about that, the feeling in that room and uh, the team selection. What do you think of it? Uh, it's a bit weird. I'm not going to lie. It's a bit weird. Um, I don't know how you bench guys like Kubis Ryan Achmani Libet. Guys have delivered you to the final. Uh, they went through the ringer. They got us through France. They contributed against England. And now they've both been told, not even on the bench, you go and sit in the stands and watch the final. It's that kind of brutality that I just don't understand right now. They're obviously packing the team with forwards, uh, an entire forward pack on the bench, 7-1 split. So they, they really have a plan for the New Zealanders. I just don't know if putting some of your form players out to pasture, so to speak, that's the end of their World Cup, so to speak, that uh, they'll have no more contribution. And against New Zealand, uh, we have to be very confident that this is the way we want to do things. Obviously, that's what's happened. Jacques Ninaba, Sio Khaleesi, explaining the team selection, explaining that the hard conversations were had, that it was spoken about, that the team comes before the players, that the players have to yield to what is for the greater good. But again, this might be the only time, that he might get another time, but it may be the only opportunity Marnie Lebeck has to play in a World Cup final. Certainly will be for Kurbus Reinach. And again, when we look at those narrow one-point wins, if you can't win a place in the side, then I just don't know what. But that's where the Springboks are. They've gone for their strengths. They've gone for their absolute strengths. And a 7-1 bench in a final against New Zealand, it's a very bold move. It certainly is, but there's a lot on the line here. And uh, I think the coach, the management know it, the team know it, and every player out there knows it as well. Listen, Simon, this isn't the last time we crossed you. I know we're going to be crossing to you again just to get a sense of things uh, there in France, the atmosphere, and uh, uh, as it all builds up. So that's Simon Burke out in the streets of France ahead of that World Cup final. And yeah, I, I know what he's saying about the, the South African fans. They're all there. They're all doing the touristy things, and they, they disappear, and then suddenly just just appear as that, uh, that, uh, that, that stadium starts filling up. You just see the South African fans absolutely everywhere. So they're there to cheer on the guys as we're going to be doing it from home. But uh, let's quickly take a break here on the program. We've still got your trending topics. We've got the newspaper headlines and a lot more ahead here on Morning Live. Stay with us.